Hey, this is Luke, and this is Feel the Link. Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, the, the mental health crisis that we have going on in this, on this planet right now is really increased, obviously, over the past couple of years, and um, a lot of people are losing hope. A lot of people don't know what to do or if they can go on and you know I spent a lot of time when I was younger yeah, very depressed and alcohol and drugs and things like that really could have taken over my life but I found a way to push on through and persevere and uh, I'm hoping I can bring the same techniques and tools to other people so that they can push on through persevere and even thrive in these times um, I know things are pretty tough out there and the external pressures are really intense, but if you can shore yourself up as an individual and you can make it, you can survive this. And I just wanted to make a short video to try and bring hope, maybe a few ideas that have never crossed people's minds and a few thinkers that have never crossed people's paths and perhaps looking into these people if those individuals have the drive and want to change their life that they will be able to because your brothers and sisters are out there they're suffering they're suffering pretty bad right now and uh, we have to be able to shore up ourselves emotionally mentally and get these tools and techniques and if you apply them and you put in the effort you can make a difference in your life and it's step by step and I wanted to start actually with a quote um, that really helped me when I was younger it helped me just helped me persevere and it's uh, actually from the Hagakure the book of the samurai and uh, something I was into when I was younger I liked uh, samurai culture and some Eastern philosophy although most of the thinkers I deal with present time are from the Western canon. Um, this quote really helped me and uh, it's translated from Japanese so it may sound a bit odd in English but I'm going to uh, read the quote here and uh, explain why I think it uh, why it really helped me. Um, and here it is, it's from the Hegakure. Master Ite said, if one were to say what it is to do good in a single word it would be to endure suffering. Not enduring is bad without exception. And uh, when I first read this, I actually thought, what is it, some sort of a masochist? Why, why is enduring suffering important? But I was young at that time and I didn't really realize it was more of a, it's like an apophatic saying, whereas not enduring is bad without exception. So therefore, to endure is good. And uh, by not enduring, you can never overcome. And you can never grow. And if you turn back along the path, you just opt out. You sign out. And some people go through, and it's the too much suffering. And then their suicide rates going through the roof. Overdose rates are going through the roof. But you, if you can endure and you can push through, I know that you can make it. And I know that you can have a happy life. And, you know, it might not be as optimal as it could have been had all this, this gone through the suffering. If you're an alcoholic or a drug addict, of course, your health is going to be more damaged. And there's many things you can do to get back on top of that. But I just wanted to put that out there. Just endure. Just, you can make it. You can make it through. And that quote, for some reason, when I was at my lowest, I just thought, not enduring is bad without exception and so I just kept pushing through and now I have an amazing life that I never could have dreamed of and I think that's out there for everyone everyone has a gift everyone has something that they can provide for others and that they can provide for themselves and if you can just get through the hard times there is light on the other end of the tunnel, and I know that you can make it. And it's just, it's, it's going to be a tough ride. And right now is some of the most difficult times people have had to live in in at least 50 years. 
this is just amazingly difficult for people and the pressures and the stress is so great that I just hope that if people can go within listen to that still small voice find that power within themselves to persevere and anything is possible you just have to keep fighting you have to keep every day you can do it every day endure and I have a quote here from Walter and Larry Russell uh, two great people geniuses and the quote is grief suffering loneliness and kindred emotions are as purposeful in the divine drama of life as joyfulness happiness and like emotions are purposeful And I'm going to just go to another quote from them because it's very poignant. Your, capac your capacity for joy and happiness may be measured by your capacity for grief and suffering. All the knowledge in the world will, should not dehumanize you. Your knowledge will, however, balance all opposite emotions and thus enrich you for having them, experience them. While ignorance will breed fears, worries, superstitions, and other unnatural emotions. At which act as terrible burdens to your progress. Ignorance will breed fear. So knowledge is what is going to help you. But knowledge of self. Focus on your emotions. Focus on... And if you're really down, and you are sitting around, and you're not that healthy, and you're not that active, go out, get active. Go for a walk my brothers and sisters in Australia right now um, you're going to have to go within you'll have to do something in your house you'll have to do you have to find a way to get that calm and to get some exercise get yourself help, some sort of physical uh, drive and it will really help you you'll get your, your serotonin levels going and uh, then focus on your emotional maturity focus on your spiritual maturity and um, I want to read from quickly from Manly P. Hall he wrote emotional maturity is probably the most difficult to attain the lack of it the most troublesome of human deficiencies I'm gonna do some more on uh, emotional maturity mental maturity and uh, some of them some of Manly P. Hall's work uh, a vital concept for personal growth. I'm also going to be doing some videos in the future with a good friend of mine about uh, Carl Jung and uh, they should be more structured and uh, I think they will come together quite nicely with the two of us working together. So look for that in the future. But um, I just want to say focus on a few of these writers. Think of something Say if you were as a kid, you had a you had a passion for art. You had a passion for something. These stuff, these things get taken away from us. They get beaten out of us through time. And go back to something you enjoyed when you were a kid. Go back to something that you enjoy doing. Do it for yourself, even for 10, 15 minutes a day. Just little by little, increase that for yourself. And I know that it will start making a difference and will start activating something inside of you that is going to be really beneficial for your life. And I just want to I want to make this video brief and I want to stop with a end with a quote here again from uh, Walter and Leo Russell. To live life, one needs to be strong in knowledge rather than in body. Strength of body is like having a fine tool to do better work with, but no tool can produce work by itself, and a weak mind cannot order a tool to do it master to do masterfully work the most important contributions to power and happiness in the world of man are knowledge and strength of character be strong and know for life lies before you you have to live it you cannot evade it why not therefore live it masterfully and with that, I'm just going to leave it, and uh, I hope to make a few more videos, and I uh, hope this finds you well, and I should be putting things together a little more succinctly and uh, a little more chronologically for techniques and thinkers who can really give you tools to help you emotionally, 
really give you tools to help you psychologically because right now we are in a epidemic of uh, psychological unwell uh, sanity is the same word as sanitization which means clean your mental state and your psychology it's like a cleaning of your psychology and uh, I don't want to get into too many digressions here because I plan on doing other videos but uh, Again, I hope this finds you well, and uh, peace and love.